Hey YouTube, it's Kitty Wolf 13. Oh, uh, I just worked a 12-hour shift. It's 9:45, and I don't have no idea why I'm still even up or any of that jazz. But here I am. I just wanted to give a huge thank you to all the people who are helping out with the Southeast BJD retreat. Um, the turnout has been phenomenal to the point that unfortunately we had to cap we had to stop taking people from coming in since we don't have a meeting space per se we had to stop we had to tell people I'm sorry we could put you on a waiting list if there are any cancellations we will let you know because unfortunately it's getting to the point where we don't even know we could fit everybody in the rooms so Excuse my kitten, he's running laps around the house. Bye, Kubo. Um, so, that's really exciting. Like, guys, that's crazy. We expected, like, 10, 15 people, maybe. So we thought having the rooms that we had was probably going to be overkill. Like, we never thought we would fill the five rooms that we were required to have for our room block. And I think we have, like, 18 rooms reserved. That's like insane, crazy, mind blown. Um, so I wanted to say thank you to everybody out there who is supporting us. I want to apologize to the people who wanted to go and can't go. We are truly, truly sorry about that. But like I said, it's just, we can't fit that many people in a one, I guess, technically two bedroom room. So, obviously we're splitting the workshops and everything between two separate spaces, but they're basically two bedroom rooms. They're, we don't have the meeting spaces or anything like that. We never thought that it would be this big, so we did not um, put the funds aside to rent a meeting space, because like I said, we didn't expect to have more than like 15, 20 people, so spending a thousand dollars for a weekend or more, because that would just be the rental, does not include like tables and chairs and security and all that fun stuff. We didn't think it would be, I don't want to say worth our while, but it would not be financially feasible for us to do that for just like 15, 20 people. Not that it wouldn't be worth it. But financially wise, we, you know, we are all hardworking people living pay to paycheck to paycheck. I can talk, I swear. So it just wasn't a thing that we were considering. But believe you me, if this is successful, which I surely hope it will be, as everybody seems to be making it out to be, we will plan accordingly next year for bigger and better things because... We're completely blown away. Like, we have almost daily chats, me and the other organizers, and we're just like, oh my god, this is happening, and this is awesome. Like, it's happening on a much larger scale than we were expecting. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. So if I sound funny, that's why. The, I do know that the... The tea party? The tea party's already booked. I think it was a 20 person limit. That's already full. Uh, I think my needle felting class is almost booked, but I still have a few openings. I got most of the kits in already. This is just like the actual tools and I'm waiting for the wool to come in. And a couple little extra odds and ends that people have asked for that I've added to last minute. Um, I think the price is going to be somewhere between $15-$20. I'm pretty much the straggler on that one because I've had a hard time sourcing all the parts for the class. So yeah, sorry about that. I don't have a price up for that yet. But um, should be soon. Uh, let's see. Everything with the rooms is all squared away. We have the room block secured. Thanks to everybody who called in. And thank you again for your patience, because we had a couple of hiccups with the, um, the rooms at the last minute. So we're very glad to hear that we managed to fix those problems and 
they were willing to work with us and we corrected things and all that fun jazz so again we they told us that we probably not going to be in the same tower because the building there's um villas on property and then there are t what they call towers which look like condominiums we're probably not all going to be in the same condominium tower but that's okay like i said there are there is a train a little trolley train as well as golf carts that go around around i think the train stops around seven or eight o'clock at night and the golf carts stop at 11 p.m at night so there'll be more than one way to walk around the property to see everything to get to everything so i really don't think the getting to and from places will be that big of an issue if you're staying the three days like the friday saturday sunday um by then we'll know whose room is what and we will have that all posted on the facebook page and so it should be easy to contact us my message box is always open. I might take a day or two, probably not that long, to get back to you. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's always open, and I will get back to you, whether it's on Facebook or here or Den of Angels, wherever. I'm usually easy to get a hold of. Tober's giving me the weird look like, why are you coughing on me? Um, so I really don't think the being in separate towers is going to be that big of an issue. Um, I don't know what else to say. I, I know we have goodie bags on the way. Like, those things are getting filled up with some goodies. Some of it's home uh, handmade by some of our um, volunteer organizers. Some of it's just some purchased goodies. There will be, I think, other incentives. I do know that Code Noir... Gave us some incentives for those goodie bags. And yeah, thanks to Code Noir for being our sponsor on such short notice. She was wanting to come out here, but, uh, you know, on short notice it wasn't going to happen. But she totally was willing to help us, and we think that's awesome, and we really appreciate that. And hopefully next year we can meet her in person. That would be really cool. Um, I don't know. So much to talk about, so little time. So, yeah. My cat's going crazy again. Crazy kitty! Um, I think that's everything. Like I said, I want to shout out to, a thank you to all of my helpful organizer, volunteer organizers who have, are spending a lot of time and their money and... They're organizing things left and right. Like I said, we chat on a almost nightly basis and everyone's excited and gung-ho and raring to go. It's going to be awesome. And thank you to all the people who are deciding to help us, deciding to attend. Um, and again, I sincerely super, super duper apologize to those who wanted to go and found out last minute or just couldn't register in time. It was not something we wanted to do. It's just to make sure that we have the space to comfortably house the people who have been there from the beginning and to have space for the workshops because I don't know about you, but I don't want to needle, well, not that I don't want to needle felt next to somebody like crammed up in like elbow to elbow, but it probably would not be a comfortable experience. So. I don't think anybody wants to do that. So, yeah. We really, really apologize. And if this is a hit and everyone enjoys it, we are hoping and raring that we're going to be able to do something like this next year on a slightly bigger scale. It might be in the same place. It might be somewhere else. We don't know. But one thing at a time, right? So in three weeks, we'll be seeing everybody. And that'll be really, really epic. Awesome. I can't wait. Oh, by the way, apparently I am doing a BJD panel at Anime EY, which is in Deerfield Beach, I believe it is. Either Daytona, not Daytona, Deerfield or Palm, Palm Beach? Whichever the two that are right next to each other. 
There's a new convention coming into town called Anime EY. It is the weekend before the BJD retreat. So the weekend of the 12th. Um, my husband and I did event photography for them last year and for their mini event this year that they had a, a little mini event to talk about their main event the weekend before the BJD retreat. And they asked me to do a BJD panel. So if you're local in the area and you like anime, come check out Anime Y. And I believe it's Sunday at 1.30 I have a BJD panel. And to be honest, since it was kind of like, hey, can you do this for us? I'm completely unprepared. So if you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to hear in a BJD panel, please, 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 please tell me. Help me plan that. Because I've got like less than two weeks to plan a panel on BJDs. Which, yeah, I guess I can wing it, but I would rather not sound completely boring and clueless. Especially since I've been in the hobby for ten years. So, yeah. Please. Thank you again, guys. Um, thanks to everyone. And hope to see you guys very soon. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.